guess what y'all we are gonna go in the backyard today we are going to be doing some greenhouse planting in our new greenhouse that we built up yesterday and we gonna get right to it we gonna get right to it <laughs> What is up? I'm your girl Ambitious Garden, and we gonna be doing some greenhouse planting, okay? Hold on, hold on. I think she, I think she wanna say hi. Cloud, Cloud, what are you doing, girl? You is just being a hot mess right now. Anyway, that's my cat, Cloudy, and she she hungry right now, so I gotta feed her. But when I come back, we are gonna be planting some things in the greenhouse. So okay, y'all. So walk with me. Talk with me. We are going to plant some plants in our greenhouse. And what kind of things we're gonna plant in a greenhouse? Hmm, you shall see. Greenhouse planting 101 coming your way. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you what we are gonna plant that's right here in our seed box. We are going to plant some gourmet greens mixture. I love salad i'm a big huge salad fan i can eat salad all day that's one of my favorite foods and i love the mixed greens they have a variety of mixed greens in here which is let me see if you can read this it says it right here all the different kinds the tender greens it has romaine it has radicchio it has spinach everything in here which i love okay so we also gonna plant some annuals, some annual cut flowers, which is a variety of mixed colors. This, if you don't know what annuals is, annuals grow all year long, folks, all year long. Perennials, they only grow during that season, but we want flowers all year round, so we can just pluck them bad babies and put it in a vase with water and we can decorate, okay? We have some carnations. I love carnations, one of my favorite flowers, I love how the petals are, all of the colors in it. And it just makes a cute, you know, house plant. So we got two of those. We also gonna do some vegetables. Here I just saved some of my seeds I already planted in the garden and we're gonna grow some in the grow house. Um, these jars right here, you know, I just DIY these things. These is actually my daughter's old baby food jars. I just cleaned it out, washed them up, spray painted it gold and just use them for seeds. I mean, you can do little things like that so you can save time and money and, you know, just do something creative with stuff that you already have in your pantry. Okay, so we have some yellow onions, which we are going to grow, some green bell peppers, some okra. My husband loves okra and my mom. We have some romaine lettuce that we're gonna make some squash, some green onion, zucchini, and green beans. Green beans and the romaine lettuce and the green onion grows really fast so we ain't gonna have no problem with that. And there you have it. So we are going to take this in the backyard and get started. So this is the greenhouse y'all. It's already sweating inside. Look, look at all that moisture, look at all that moisture. That's how you know the plants is going to thrive in here. It's already sweating. Look at that. So I just have it right here in the middle of my grass because yesterday when we put it up, we just was done, we were just done, we was ready to go in the house. So I'm just, I just need to find like an area to put it in my backyard. I mean, our backyard is kind of cramped right now because it's like literally like no space in our backyard. So I think I'm just going to put it, I need to put it somewhere that has full sun. So I'm guessing, hmm, I'm guessing I might need to move some things around. But once I figure it out, I will show you guys where I put it. I'm just gonna check on my garden to see what's growing in here. And oh my God, y'all, look at that long old pepper right there. Look at that long old pepper. That was not there a couple days ago. 
OMG. That is crazy. Look at the cucumber. How long it's grown. I just can't wait till cucumbers actually start growing out. Because, like, I'm so ready for it. Like, here is some of the squash that's about to bloom out. But I'm so scared because, I mean, I have to really, like, watch out for bugs and insects because they love, you know, eating the vegetables. Like, that's one thing I really need to search about because I'm tired of these insects, like, ruining my stuff, okay? I work too hard for my vegetables to get ate up and ain't been no working. I'm hitting the work. Okay, y'all, so I wanted to tell y'all a very important thing when it comes to gardening or growing your own grow house. So the three main things I wanna talk about is the USDA gardening zone, number one, your regular gardening zone, and the average temperature in your gardening zone. So my gardening zone is a zone five. You always wanna check what zone you live in because that will determine what vegetables, fruits, or plants will do well in your city or state. The second thing is you wanna know what zone you live in for that temperature. So my zone is a 9A. A 9A is literally like the highest zone there is when choosing your fruits and vegetables to plant in. Second, you wanna know the average temperature of that zone. My zone is anywhere between 20 to 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is really hot. So basically where I live, I can grow fruits and vegetables all year long because the humidity, it's a warm climate, and it stays hot all year long. Now, you have to choose what vegetables that you want to plant, vegetables and plants. So every month, you know, it's certain vegetables that you can plant that will do best during those seasons. So for example, October is coming up. I can plant collard greens, I can plant kale, I can plant onions, radishes, pumpkins, um, beans. Those type of vegetables I can grow. Now if I wanna grow plants in my zone, I can grow dahlias, sunflowers, hibiscus. I can grow cone flowers and such plants like that. So I really have a lot of stuff to choose from. Right now, I'm growing some zinnias right here in my garden, which is really thriving. Look how long that is. It's really beautiful, people. Like, man, it's really thriving. I've been growing this since last year, wintertime, and it's still doing its job. So that's just an example how my zone grows certain things. So I just wanted to update you guys on the specifics of choosing certain plants certain vegetables when you start your garden. Also make sure you know the beginning and end of the frost dates. If you don't know what that means, it's how early you can plant certain vegetables that will thrive and what's the latest you can plant vegetables that will survive continuing to the next season. You always want to make sure you know your harvest seasons through those seasons because that will determine how well your goodies can grow. Okay, y'all, so what I'm about to do is plant the soil into our bins, into our planting trays. These are the planting trays that I'm going to use for our soil. I got these from HEB for free because they was basically about to throw it away. So I just asked, can I have them? And they say, yeah. So if you're ever at the garden store or you know, a grocery store in a garden area and you see some trays, just ask, can you have them? And they'll just gladly give them to you so you don't have to buy anything. So I'm gonna fill my garden soil with the dirt. And again, I'm using just some indoor outdoor garden soil that I got from HEB. You can use whatever garden store you want depending on your preference. This is sourced in Texas, so I think it's really good. I planted some things with it already, which is really good. So I'm just gonna put some soil into the trays. As you can see, you just sprinkle it around like this. Make 
making sure each one is filling up the pockets like so. This is a really chunky mix. It has bark in it. It has pumice in it. It don't have too much perlite, but this soil you can use for indoor, outdoor. You also can use it for starting seeds. So that's why I got this one because it's like multifunctional. So just got this. I'm almost done. Still a little bit. It's like really windy out here. But the breeze feel really good. And I'm glad I put my guarding, my guarding station in the shade right here because everywhere else in my backyard is hot. So we're almost done. And I'm kind of curious if you are a gardener or a planter, what kind of things do you like to plant? Like, what is your favorite things you like to grow? For me, it's cucumbers. Like, I love cucumbers. I can eat, like, cucumbers every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snack. Like, cucumbers are my absolute fave. Okay, you guys. So, we are dang near, almost done filling up this tray. We're almost done filling up this tray. And what we want to do is make sure it's like this. Make sure it's all filled up. Okay. Then what you can do is just dig a little hole in the middle of your dirt. Because that's where the seeds are going to, to grow. That's where your seeds are going to grow. Just dig a little hole right in the center of your tray. Okay. This one can use a little bit more dirt. A little bit more dirt. Okay. I should have brought my watering can, but it's okay. So once we have our holes in the center of our trays, that's when we add the seeds. Okay, so since we're done with our dirt, we are going to put this down and hit our seeds. This is what I keep my seeds in. Ain't this cute? It's like nature elegance, y'all. Nature elegance. That's my channel. Okay, so we're going to flip it open. Have all our seeds in here that we are going to plant. First, we're going to start off with the vegetables. So I'm just gonna take my gloves off because I need to feel the seeds, you know? I just gotta touch it. So we're gonna put this in here, okay? So we're gonna start off with the green onion. This is the green onion, y'all. The green onion, there you go, can see that. Green onion. And we just want to take like a little bit of seeds at a time. You can sprinkle it in your hand whatsoever but we're just gonna go down the row down the row right here so I'm just gonna put a few seeds in there like that and each one each one we're gonna do two rows of green onion we're gonna do two rows of green onion we're going to use all the seeds and we're going to keep it like that. Okay, so our two rows is full of green onion. The next one we're going to do is, let's see, we're going to do yellow onion. We're going to do a yellow onion. We're going to take like some yellow onion seeds and we're just going to place them right in the hole like that. We're just going to do one. Just going to do one. We're going to do two rows 
of onion. Actually, I'm going to add another one in there. We're going to do two. Yes. I think this is actually corn, y'all. This is actually corn. I think I had got my tops mixed up. But so what? We're going to do corn instead. Oh, the first one was actually it. Okay, so now we're gonna do some green beans. So we're gonna do some green beans, y'all. Look at the green beans. We're gonna do some green beans. So we're gonna do one green bean in each. Actually, we're gonna just do two green beans. We're gonna do two green beans. I'm gonna do two green beans in each. Oh, but we're gonna do two rolls. So we're gonna do two rolls of each of everything. Okay, so we got that down. Now we are going to do some zucchini. I love zucchini. We're gonna do some zucchini. So we're gonna do all of our zucchini. This is how the zucchini seeds look so we're gonna do some zucchini do one zucchini in here we're gonna do two rows of it okay so we got our zucchini so after that we are going to label Label our vegetables because we don't want to get mixed up and get it confused on what we grew, right? So we are going to use these tags right here and write what we are growing on them. These I got from Amazon, so I will post the link in the description box so you can purchase them yourself if you want to. You can use popsicle sticks as well, but I'm going to use these. So First, we have grown. Let's see what we have grown. We have grown the green beans. Okay. Green beans, just like that. Right here. Okay. Stick it in the dirt like that. Next, we are going to do the corn okay the yellow corn so we're gonna put it in just like that just like that stick it down right in the dirt then we're gonna do the zucchini y'all And what else are we going to do? Okay, we got the zucchini on deck. And then last but not least, we have the green onion. The green onion y'all so we have our green onion our yellow corn our green beans and our zucchini for this box now i'm just going to hit back with my gloves And then I'm just going to just cover the top of the vegetables with the dirt that I moved out the way to make the hole. So just cover it back up with the dirt. You don't need to add any new dirt. You're just basically just putting it in there.
like that. Just covering it up and dabbing it, covering it up, dabbing it. And in the greenhouse, you don't really need to water your vegetables every day because the heat from the sun, it gives it that moisture in the greenhouse to water itself. You know what I'm saying? So you don't really need to water it every day. So I'm just gonna go like that and press down. Cover it up and press down. Cover it up and press down. Cover it up and press down. Like that. Cover it up and press down. Exactly what I'm doing right here. Okay. So now since we have our first tray done, it's going to look like this. I have another tray in here stacked up because we're going to do probably like three trays. So I'm going to take this out. And it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this. Okay, so now we're gonna put this over to the side and we're gonna work on our next tray. Okay, now y'all, since we got done with our vegetables, we're gonna move on to our greens. So we are going to plant, like I said before, our gourmet greens and we're gonna plant some dwarf kale. Yeah, some curly kale. Okay. I want to do this tray specifically for the greens because greens grow massive. Okay, they take up so much space. So this tray is specifically going to be for mm, yeah, the greens. I might do two whole trays and then just do another tray for now. But we're going to double back what we did again. I'm just going to take these ones out so I don't have to keep going in our box. I'm just going to put these right here. And then we're going to fill this up. with our dirt. So me, I'm a big salad person, like I said before. Like my favorite greens is butter lettuce. I wanna try to grow some butter lettuce, but I don't know where they sell that at. So my second best option is the mixed greens. I do like romaine too, depending on what I have on top of my salad. But I love salad, like, I love everything. I like to make different combinations of salads. I love the cucumbers, the tomatoes, artichokes, carrots, tomatoes. I prefer Roma tomatoes. Roma tomatoes are the best because it's just firm, you know. But I love salad. I'm a big salad eater. Like my whole family loves salads. We are salad so I'm just gonna do what I did the first time just going like this and this salad is gonna grow very fast last year when I grew salad it grew within like four days so I know this is really gonna grow fast especially with being in a greenhouse and I'm not going to have no bugs and pests getting to it. It's going to be safe in the greenhouse. Which I'm excited about. Especially it's a perfect time to harvest lettuce right now. So if you're a big salad eater, I suggest you find a different varieties of lettuce and actually growing them to see what grows fast. So I'm just laying the dirt on here. Then might be running out of dirt. So I'm not gonna take up too much dirt cause I still wanna have enough dirt for this video for my flowers. Okay, so that's good enough. That's good enough y'all. So now we have our seeds. I hope I have some scissors in here because 
I don't think I brought my scissors with me. So, actually I have my, I have my blade, so we're just gonna use this. Ah, stay safe people. Okay, so we're gonna do our kale first. Just gonna cut it open. Cut it open. So we got it open like that. We didn't even eat our scissors. Okay, and actually I'm gonna take my gloves off. I just work better without gloves. And these are what the seeds look like. I don't know if you can see it, but these are what the seeds look like. So like I pressed this before, I just wanna dig a hole, little hole in it. I'm gonna do actually, let me see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna do four rolls of the kale. I'm gonna do four rolls of the kale. So I'm gonna put a little bit of seeds in here in each one. I don't know if y'all can see me, but I'm just putting seeds in each one of the holes. Cause we're gonna do four rows. We're gonna do four rows. And we're gonna see how much they grow. Just a pinch full of seeds. Just a pinch full. You don't need a whole lot. Just a pinch full, cause they're gonna grow really big. Okay, so this is how much we have left, still a lot. So you can save those for when you're all out, when you eat all your vegetables. And you can plant some more. Okay, now we're going to save that. We're gonna cut open our gourmet greens. Okay, this is like 279 at Home Depot. You have some little lows they have there, but I live close to the home so the lows. So. But they really do have different stuff at each door, so that's a plus. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of seeds, mix these, and look at the different varieties. Look, I don't know if you can see it, but the seeds are so different because they mix. So. I'm just gonna go a little bit, a little bit here. <laughs> Push it down a little bit. A little bit there. A little bit there. I'm just gonna sprinkle it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, like a bug. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I can't wait till this lettuce grow. Like, oh my God. I ain't never seen this mix before. So I'm really excited to see how it's gonna grow. It's gonna add a little bit more dirt in here. So this is gonna be really exciting, y'all. Like, oh my god. A little bit more here. Okay. So I actually use all of it. Cause I want this to be a lot. I don't want to grow a lot of it. So we got that in here. Put it in here. Okay, now I'm putting my gloves back on. So, just cover back up with the dirt like that. And you want to press it down so the seeds can really there. Press it down. like a little one and a half inch of the soil. I'm like fighting a bug and crap. Okay. Me and the bugs be battling out here. Me and the bugs where I'm M and and the bugs, bro. Okay. So we are going to press, cover it up and press. Cover 
it up and press. Cover it up and press down. On C. This one is going to be a little bit short. I'm going to add a little bit of soil to that, like that. I was trying to save a little bit of soil because I want some for my other tray, but we got it like that. So I could say we can label it, but I mean, we're going to. So we are. So I have two of them. So my kale. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Okay. And get to my pin. Put our utensils away. We don't want to get cut. And I'm gonna label our kale. Okay, so we got our kale. And we're gonna start it over here since it begins here and ends at the end. And we're gonna do our mixed lettuce. Okay. So got our mixed lettuce. Say my phone about to die, y'all. Okay, my camera is about to die, so I need to hurry up. So, like again, this is how it's going to look. Got our mixed greens starting right here. Four rows, one, two, three, four. The next one is kale. Four rows ending at the end. Okay. So now what I want to do, I'm going to transfer this over to the greenhouse. And then I'm going to water it and fertilize it with some miracle Grow. Some miracle Grow. You can put this in a watering can, it's for plants and vegetables. So I just saved it in this because it looks cute. And you know, I like to reuse things. So this is like from old spaghetti sauce jar, you know. I do what I do. So I'll be back. Okay y'all, so I went ahead and planted the carnations. I planted these carnation, which was $1.99 at Home Depot. These are perennial. So if you don't know what perennial means, that means it don't last all year long. It only grows during that season. And this one is mixed colors, the Shabbat Giant. So these will grow really big. So I went ahead on planted the whole tray of carnations, the whole tray. The next one I will do the annuals, which grows all year long. Um, but I didn't have enough soil, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that in another video. Heading over to the greenhouse. Okay, y'all, so I'm in my greenhouse right now. I set up my trays with the vegetables and we have our flowers over here. So what I did was take one gallon of water. What I put in my water, I put the super, oh shucks, the super thrive organic gardening um more fertilizer i mean it promotes bigger plants and more blooms it's fish fertilizer a rich source of nutrients it's a four and one one ratio um you can use this for your vegetables and for your plants it will really make your vegetables and your flowers bloom and grow healthy okay so i added one and a half teaspoon of this into our gallon of water also added some of our miracle Grow shingles. It's all purpose plant food. So I put one of these in here. Let me just take it out of the jar so you can see it. It's one of these. And now what we're gonna do is just water the fruits and vegetables like that. Okay, make sure it's fully saturated because it looks dry. We're gonna do our other side right here. Water it so like that. Should water it good enough because the heat is gonna really soak it up really good. So I'm just gonna water it one more time. 
And now I'm just gonna go over here and water this section right here. So this section right here, making sure it's all fully saturated. Stir it up a little bit. Okay, and we are good to go. And that is my garden video of our greenhouse.